Your WordPress site is written in a code language called PHP and uses a database to keep everything organized, like your usernames, your posts, your post revisions, and a whole lot of other stuff you really don't think about whenever you sit down to write a post. Now, just like whenever you drive your car on a regular basis, well, every now and then you get a tune-up on your car so that it continues to run at its best and gets the best gas mileage. Well, your WordPress site also needs a tune-up on the database every now and then to keep your site running at its best and loading in your visitor's browser as fast as possible. Well, this video is going to show you how to do a basic tune-up or optimize your WordPress database. Now, I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. One is going to actually get your hands dirty, so to speak, by going into your PHP My Admin or your database and manually optimizing your database. Another way, and quite possibly the easier way, and more than likely the way you're going to be doing it, is by using a WordPress plugin so you can do all of this work from within the dashboard area of your WordPress site. So first off, let's go ahead and test to make sure our site's working and nothing's broken. Boom. Good. Now, it's also a good idea before you start poking around with codes and databases and adding plugins you're not familiar with to do a full site backup. That includes your files and the database. So, assuming we've already done that, let's go ahead and log into our cPanel control panel. Scroll on down until you get to the PHP My Admin section, which is in the database area. Click on that. And if you have several WordPress sites, you'll probably have several databases. Just select the one that you want to optimize. And quite frankly, I'd say go ahead and optimize every one of them. But I only have the one here, so I'm going to select that. And it's going to show us all the tables within that database. Now, depending upon how your site is set up, this being just a test or a dummy site, there's not a lot going on here. You may even have closer to 40 or 50 different tables in, in your database. But over here on the far right corner, this column that says overhead, this is the this is the column that needs to be cleared out. And as you can see, there's no overhead on my site. But if your site is heavily used, chances are you might have a lot of numbers over here. And what you want to do is select the tables that have the numbers in the overhead column. Or if you do have any overhead, then you'll have a link down here, kind of like right where a data dictionary link is. And this link will, will say, check tables having overhead. You just click on that link and boom, it'll automatically check all the tables that have the overhead in this column. Then once those tables are checked, come over here to the drop down arrow, click on optimize table, and you are good to go. Within a split second, all those tables, all that overhead will be eliminated, and you'll have an optimized database. At this point, go ahead and do another backup to kind of get rid of the other backup that you just did, because this one is now fully optimized. And to do a quick backup, just click on Export. The default settings are just fine for what we're doing. Click on Go. Navigate to the folder or the location on your computer where you want to send the backup to, and then just click on Save. So that's how you can do it the manual way. As far as the easier way, the more automatic way, if you will, it's by using a plugin called WP-DB Manager. And you can find this at wordpress.org slash plugins slash WP-DB Manager. I'm going to go ahead and install this now to kind of demonstrate the whole process here. So let's go to our dashboard area where our plugins are at. And if you're not currently logged in, then you'll probably get a box that pops up here that'll ask for your WordPress login credentials, you know, your username and your password. And then come over to Plugins, click on Add New, type in here, or as in my case, paste, WP-DB Manager, click on Search Plugins. And if you want to learn, and if you want to learn more about it, just check out the details here or head on over to the WordPress.org page here. But we're just going to go ahead and install it now. Click on OK. Then once it's installed, you want to click on Activate Plugin. And more than likely, you'll get this same error message that I just did. So let's go ahead and take care of this right now. It says we got us a .ht access file in this folder right here that actually needs to be moved to this folder right here. So you want to open up either your cPanel control panel or your FTP client. So since I've already got my cPanel control panel open, well, let's do that. Come on up here to our file manager and open this guy up here. And that's the directory that we want to move that .ht access file to. But we got to get it first. And it's in the plugins directory in the wp-db manager directory. Open that up. And here it is. So I want to move this into that other directory. And here's one way you can do that. Over here on the left, let's go ahead and open up to it, get to that directory. 
right here it is. I'm going to just left click hold and drag it on over there. And it's gone out of here. Let's open up that directory to see that it's in here. Now here's the kicker. This needs to be a .ht access file. Right now it's an htaccess.txt. No problem. We're going to rename that. Just select this, right click, left click on rename. And I'm just going to delete that .txt. And at the beginning, put the dot. Simple Simon. Click on rename file. Now it's a .ht access file. Let's come on back here. Refresh our page and that's going to be gone. Hopefully. Because that's the thing, though, it's in that error box there. It doesn't say anything about changing the htaccess.txt file into a .htaccess file. I guess they figure you already know that. Well, you know that now. Okay, so now once that's all done, we can come over here to the database link on the left sidebar. Click on database at the top. And this is basically what we just saw over at phpMyAdmin. So if you have any overhead, the numbers are going to be shown right there. Backup. This is how we can manually do it from within our WordPress site. We just come on down here, click on Backup, and that's where it's going to put it at, that same directory we just moved that HD access file to. Click on Backup, done. Now, if you want to manage those backups that you've been doing, either manually or automatic, and I'll get to the automatic part here in a second, then you can either just select the backup and email it to yourself, download it to your computer, or if you've had a problem with your site as a result of a messed up database, Select the last working database you have, click on Restore, bing, bang, boom, you're good to go. Now, if you find that there are items that require optimization, like that overhead stuff, come over here and check out the tables that you want to be optimized. Now, I'd say go ahead and check yes on all these. If there are certain tables that you know should not be optimized or should not be repaired, then make sure you've got no. Because this is going to come in handy here in just a second. Now we get to the automation part. Now then just click on optimize and you're good. Likewise with repaired database. Check those tables you want to be repaired. Click on repair and you're good. Now if you want to get rid of a table or clean it out, select the table and either clean it out or get rid of it altogether. And if you're familiar enough with the database to be able to run SQL queries, then you have that option to do that right inside of your WordPress site right here. Now, under DB Options, this is where you can get all things done automatically. Most of the time, the default settings are just fine. And you just come on down here and set this up the way that you want this. If you want the automatic backup of the database to be done once a week, once a month, once a day. This depends a lot on the activity that takes place within your WordPress site. Likewise, with optimizing, how often do you want that? Repairing, how often do you want that? and then save changes, and it's good. And if you find just absolutely no use for this particular plugin any longer, then you've got that option right here to uninstall it. And that brings us to the end of this video on optimizing your database and your WordPress site, both manually outside of WordPress, and automatically and manually inside of WordPress. Thanks for watching, and you have a great day.